how are you? Hope you had a good weekend. Yeah, my video's a bit late. Um, we got sort of sidetracked this weekend doing gardening and things like that. So, uh, so yeah, it is slightly late. But it's probably about the right time as well because the next few days are going to be beautiful and we have got our barbecue out ready for a, well, we call it a braai because obviously my husband's South African, uh, for tomorrow evening. And so I'm so excited. First one of the year. Um, and I just want to give you a bit of inspiration to do something different. Now, we normally go for steak or um, pork ribs and, and things like that. Um, my hubby's never really very keen about putting burgers on a barbecue, um, but we've been watching a Tom Carriage um, cookery programme. It was on last year, actually, and um, he did burgers. And it inspired us to think, let's do something a little bit different. So not just your plain old but, you know, beef burgers, let's do something a bit more exciting. So, made some pork and chorizo burgers. So here's how I made it. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is caramelise some onions. So there's two smallish onions chopped there. So I'm going to cook that off until it's all nice and brown and just leave that to cool while I get on with the rest of the ingredients. Right, so I've got in a bowl here 500 grams of less than 5% fat pork mince. And I'm going to add to that some chorizo. Now this is just 69 grams, only because what I had. Um, you can use the soft chorizo, and probably would be better because it will go in and mix in with the um, pork. I didn't have any in the house, so I have just used normal. This is just from Lidl chorizo that I had in the freezer. Um, I love it, it's got a really nice flavour. So, you know, see what you can get or what you've got in your fridge. Um, I'm going to add to that a good two teaspoons of. Um, spicy paprika. Going to add some parsley. Add again two good teaspoons. I think that's probably all my parsley gone. Perfect. Get rid of that. And then I'm going to add some hot chili. Not too much. You don't want to overpower it. Probably half a teaspoon is enough, I think. Any more than that, and. Uh, going to blow your head off which isn't what you want I'm going to add in a teaspoon of ground coriander but I might add two there we go why not I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda now Tom Kerridge told me this it apparently helps bind it all together and the proteins so I'm not going to argue with Tom Carriage, that's for sure. And then I'm going to add in two generous teaspoons of my lazy garlic. I'm just going to grab a wooden spoon from somewhere. I did see it a minute ago. What did I just do with it? Oh, there it is. I'll use it for my onions. And I'm just going to give that a good mix around with the spoon. I apologise, Lola's having her breakfast because I'm making these at 7 o'clock in the morning and then I'm going to leave them in the fridge all day ready for this evening. So I suppose it is breakfast time for her, isn't it? And then I'm just going to add into there my onions that I've just already softened off. And then all I'm going to do is form these into little patties. So I'm just going to pop some fry light on here. Perfect. 
And then I'm gonna grab my mixture, which is just here, and I'm gonna form it into patty size patties. <laughs> Reasonable size patties. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Okay. Let's put that one there. Now with pork, when I cook it, I'm going to have to be really careful that I don't dry it out. This doesn't have much fat in it because it's a less than 5% fat. I'm hoping that the chorizo will overcompensate for that. And then obviously you've got the bicarbonate of soda, soda, soda even, which should help. There we go. And the beauty about doing things like this is that once they've cooled in the fridge and they've sort of set, you can just freeze them. So if I don't need all these tonight, which I'm not going to, I'll just stick them between greaseproof paper and I'll stick them <laughs> in the freezer. Can you believe how noisy Lola is? I actually have a burger press. I don't know why I'm doing these by hand. Um, that would be so much easier, wouldn't it? And it would really press them down. Oh, well. It is early in the morning. The dogs have been out for a good hour's walk. So hopefully they're going to have a nice day today, chilling out. Okay, I'm going to make six out of this. So I know you can't see all of them on the camera, so I do apologise. God, she's so noisy. She's a noisy eater, she's a noisy drinker, and then she's just noisy generally. There we go. Right, so if I move that over there. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? Let me move that like that for you. There you go. So there's six patties there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop those into the, freeze, the freezer, the fridge even, and just leave them until I need them this evening. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them on the stove and I'm going to just cook them. But I'll show you that when I do it. Just make sure they're all tight together. There we go. It should be lovely with the pork and the chorizo. Stop messing around with it, Maria, and stick them in the fridge. Right, so my uh, patties have been in the fridge all day, and they smell lovely. Every time I opened the fridge door, it was just a waft of just oh, loveliness. So this pan is what I actually cooked the onions in earlier. I thought, why clean it out? you got all the flavours still in there. So there we go. So I'm just going to pop these in. I'm only going to do four. There we go. The other two I will freeze, as I said. But I'm just going to cook them. So I'm going to leave them to cook on the one side. And then turn them over. I'm going to keep an eye on them because I don't want them to burn. And I also don't want to dry out. Now to go with this, I'm going to put these in a bun. I've got whole meal. Her husband's got white. And I'm going to top it with some cheese, some light cheese for me, and I've got a really nice chilli cheese for him. And then I've got some new potatoes, which I roasted yesterday, so they were left over from last night's dinner, which I'm just going to put on the griddle, um, which I'm going to use the griddle to toast the rolls as well. And then I'm going to do a nice salad with this and um, some gherkins. So let me cook these off and I'll show you them. Right, so I'm just turning these over the first one you can see how it just caramelizes underneath and they're just lovely look at that oh. okay, perfect i'm just going to turn the heat down a little bit now and i'm going to add on the cheese this is the chili cheese from my husband and there's a lot of it, absolutely. And then just for me, some low fat cheese. Now this is something that I've learned from um, a coffee program, I can't remember which one it is. But to stop your burgers going um, sort of dry, just add a little bit of water. And put a lid on and steam it. Who knew? And that steam they just add moisture into your burgers there you go right so i'm just going to leave that now to karen cooking so the pork's cooked through 
I said don't want to dry it out I've got my tasters cooking to the uh, left of me here and now I'm just going to add my rolls just so that I can toast them off a bit and then I will plate up it's as simple as that right can you see those now time to make up my buns there we go let's move them across here so the first thing i need is my burgers i'm just going to my pan i'm going to do mine first so i've got one i have to put this down to do this i need two hands to stack it there you go perfect there you go and then i'll do my herbis going to be a big burger which is perfect and then I'm going to pop some gherkins on top like so like so okay now there are some juices left in the pan which are from my husband's burger where his cheese is melted so what I'm going to quickly do is, if I can just move this over so you can see, is I'm going to put his in his bowl ready, like that, okay, and then I'm going to pour these juices over his burger so nothing is wasted for him. I know he will love those flavours. that and then I've got some skewers here which I'm just going to pop the lid back on his burger for him like that and then just pop that on to hold it for him so that's his done and then I'm just going to do mine so I just realized mine was upside down it doesn't matter I'm just going to pop mine down there like that oops Get a skewer just to hold it in place like that and then as I said I've got some uh, potatoes which I'm going to add to this so these just new potatoes which I cooked off um, so I cooked them last night in the oven just roasted them and then I've just reheated them over the grill so you can see some markings on them so I'll give hubby some myself some there's nothing on these they're just literally as they were um, but just roasted skins on for extra um nutrition and that's it dinner is served there it is doesn't that look yummy so that's my husband's obviously because it's white bread and he's got the um chili cheese and everything else and then mine is over here there you go look at that that is just absolutely delicious and yeah, it's going to be messy eating it, but you know what? We'll be married long enough. Who cares as long as we enjoy it? So what do you think? Really tasty. Honestly, they were amazing. And actually, the other two, I didn't end up freezing. I cooked them and my hubby had them cold on a roll for lunch the next day with a salad and he said it was amazing so yeah so hopefully that might inspire you this week to do something different for your barbecue and i'm going to try some different sort of barbecue recipes now we're coming into summer and we can go in the back garden with our friends so hopefully you'll enjoy those and if you do don't forget you need to subscribe click notifications and give me a thumbs up all right guys enjoy the good weather because it's probably going to snow next week apparently according to my weather forecast all right i will see you soon and stay safe Take care. Bye.